time my son told me he wanted to play basketball, we were serious. Do you want to play basketball and do this? We got you 100%. He was the underdog. We want to open the eyes to other kids to see that you don't have to be the dapper dandy. You can go this route of working hard and stay with it and stay strong. You can make it like Ian is doing right now. After the sixth grade year, I started seeing like player rankings and all that. I'm like, I want to be that. I want to be that guy that everybody talks about. I just want to be that guy. So I tried to push myself to be that guy and then make a name for myself. Light it. His main thing is like, listen, I know where I want to go, so I know I got to put that work in. That's what makes me most proud of him, his work ethic. It's solid. Since everybody like kind of knows who I am, everybody's like, oh, I want to go hard at that kid. I want to show that he's not as good as what they make him seem. A lot of nights in the gym, late nights, early mornings. A lot of lost hours of sleep because we're just trying to get better and put in the work. And I feel like it's still more work to be done. I feel he's gonna go to the top college. And then from there, we see where it goes. I'm Ian Jackson, 15 years old, from New York City. I play basketball. Play basketball every day. There's no time for anything else. This is straight basketball right now. Our oh, normal practice is we come in, we stretch, we do conditioning, sometimes a lot of conditioning, a lot of conditioning. Second time he speed up, you know, he's young, he's a little fragile here, you know, he's 6'5". So he's going to be, I guess, another couple more years, he's about 6'8", 6'9", thought. So we got to get him strong, you know, people are going to be hitting him, hitting him. So I'm working with him in strength and conditioning. Come on, come on, come on, yeah. I'm playing for Coach Muggs for what? Four years now. I like him and coach him because he's not gonna hold back. Just because we've known each other for a certain amount of time doesn't mean he's gonna treat me better than any other kid. He's gonna coach the way he coaches. He's not gonna just let me do what I wanna do. He's gonna actually like, keep me in line. Go go with me. Stop, stop. Our first thing was our trim condition, 30 minutes trim condition. Constantly moving, constantly moving, non stopping. So we're keeping the pace like this. With the strip condition helps in a game, fourth quarter, other team is tired. But you still got that strength, you got conditioning in you, you're still going, you're still going, you're still going, you're still going. Because when you tie it, you make mistakes when you tie it. Your mind plays tricks on you. So that's why, to me, conditioning is very, very important in basketball. Very important. Hey! 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 Rest! You don't have to be better than a team, you have to out hustle a team, out play defense a team. You have to be, he might be the ranked top 10 in the country, but you could beat that team because you out hustle them. When I was younger, it was more of working on my fundamentals, but now that I've got everything down, now it's about trying to hit more shots than I did the other day, like just trying to be better and perfect, actually perfect my craft. My, my position can vary based on like who, who's playing on the team. I feel like I can play any position. My specialty is I get out and run. That's where like most majority of my basket come from, like get out and run and transition. We teach here, we develop here, and we make the kid into that. His strength is his mind. His mindset for a young a teenager is great. And um, we work with him, work with him until he to became the number one player in New York City. Their parents did a great job with him, man. He's a, he's a great kid. 12 years old is when I started like actually playing on a team and actually like trying to take it serious. My brother's playing basketball. So I was like, since they're doing it, then I feel like I could do it too. So they kind of got like, guided me into it. From the time he picked up the ball and now I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just want to play basketball, and I'm going to do anything to play basketball. So he's like, all right, well, we got you. You want to do that? Made sure he understood the importance of, you know, being on task with everything else. You know, that basketball was just added to what he already does, but he turned out to be great at it. These are a few of my trophies, the ones that I feel like mean the most to me. This is a student athlete trophy. Books come before basketball. I feel like I completed my mission for the school year. I had the highest average on the team. I had like a, a 95 average. This was the first trophy that I got. Like, that was in a big game. And this, I feel like this one means the, mo means the most to me. This was a game that the top New York kids in eighth grade versus the top kids in Philly played in. And I got an MVP. Before the game, I was like, just a kid that people have seen before, but nobody like actually knew who I was. Everybody else was like a big name. I was the only kid that nobody really knew. So I feel like getting this, like showed showed everybody that oh that kid can hoop. Yeah, that made me very proud because I know how much work he puts in. That was good to see him bring it home and to, and to see how excited he was about knowing that he put the work in. So he was taking that all in, and I saw how humble you know he is. And I'm just like, that's awesome. You deserve that, babe. You know that's how you got to keep pushing. You got to go hard for what it is that you want. 
Right now we're at the Stanford Boys and Girls Club. We're trying to touch a little bit of a little everything, crossovers, layups, jump shots, defense, everything that we warm up into actually getting into some gameplay. Angelica and Ian are two of the top kids in the country, not just the, uh, the area. And working with them pushes me as a coach because I know every time I come in, we got to challenge them to uh, tap into their, their potential. There you go. Playing with Ian, you know, it's always been fun to like work out with them or be in the gym because they going to make you work. It's been awesome. Yeah. Right now, I'm in the ninth grade. And I feel like the next step after high school is to get get a chance to go to college for free and a free scholarship and free, free education. Who's that reach out? It's been Nebraska, Bryant, Kansas, St. John's, and St. Hall. Those are schools that I reach out. So the schools I'm sort of interested in is Kentucky. I like Kentucky because I want to be coached by John Calipari because I feel like there's things that he can teach me and help me get better at probably and potentially go to the NBA. Good job, guys. Keep yeah. working. Family on three, family on three. One, two, three. Family. He was blessed to have so many people backing him, so it makes it a little bit easier because we already was telling him this, you know, in the household. So to get out and have his coaches around him who support him every day and push him, check him when he's wrong, you know, it's awesome. It's awesome. I see him going, finishing high school, uh, high school diploma, finishing college. That's what I see him. That's, that's the most important thing to me. I mean, MBA is, is in sights, but high school diploma, degree. And he's going to do that. Come on, come on, push, push, push. Getting better for me is fun. But just improving is, is fun for me. I feel like my friends understand like what I'm trying to accomplish and what I'm trying to do. So if I tell them, if I tell them that I'm, I can't do something because I can't go to a party or I can't do it, go out because I'm working out, they, I feel like they understand. They get on So proud of him. Really proud of him. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad he's doing something he loves to do. And that's how I feel in life. You shouldn't have to work. You should just do what you love to do. And once you can get paid for doing that, go ahead. And he loves to play basketball. He loves to play basketball. I learned that the hard work that you think you're putting in, you gotta put in more work. Cause like, you did, you did a little bit of work to get there, now you gotta put in extra work. Cause everybody on that level is putting in the more work. So you gotta be able to keep up. I know I'm there, I know I'm being watched now. It's time to like, put more work in and set myself aside from everyone else. Thanks for watching. To check out more studies like mine, subscribe to Whistle.